It is the 10th of the 2nd of 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net tonight. Europe's Danube freezes over, cold snap toll at 460. Now to Belgrade, thick ice closed vast swaths of the Danube on Thursday, crippling shipping on Europe's busiest waterway. Uh, as death toll from bitter cold across the continent rose to at least 460. And uh, as, it, as it has every day for nearly two weeks, the brutal cold claimed lives in several countries and killed dozens more in weather-related accidents. Over 200 dolphins found dead in northern Peru. This week, more than 200 dolphins were found dead along a 106-kilometer stretch at the beaches. Uh, authorities have not yet been able to determine the cause of the deaths, and of course they're going to do autopsies and whatnot. U.S. Cape Cod dolphin beaches rise to 129. More are expected. More strandings are expected after 129 dolphins beached themselves on Cape Cod in the last three weeks, with 92 dying, the single, single largest stranding of dolphins in the Northeast since at least 1999, the International Fund for Animal Welfare reported on Monday. And they still don't know exactly what, why they're doing this, of course. Venice freezes as deadly chill grips Europe. Uh, more than 30 more deaths have been reported as a result of the bitterly freezing weather that has swept across Europe. A dam wall broke and flooded an entire village in so southern Bulgaria when snow melted rapidly as a result of heavy rain. Uh, I got a story about a mysterious missing eruption in 12... 58 AD. I understand that's a long time ago, uh, but they can't quite figure out which volcano erupted, admitting uh, between 190 and 270 megatons into the atmosphere. And to put it another way, it, be it produced between 300 and 600 megatons of sulfuric acid. And again, volcanoes do affect our climate. And that's about all new they have tonight. Nothing really going on on um, extinction protocols, some war drum stories, that kind of thing. Uh, straight over to the RSOE. Of course, Bulgaria is putting out its complex emergency with the extreme cold and um, their situation. Flooding continues in Australia, uh, state of New South Wales and Queensland. Of course, the cold wave that is Europe, um, Russia, Poland, Romania, Serbia, Ukraine... Bosnia, Herzegovina, Bulgaria, and another cold wave coming through in uh, eastern Russia as well. Da -da -da. Of course, we've got the Mount Etna volcano, uh, snowstorms in Algeria, and that's in Africa, continues. Uh, snowstorms in the United Kingdom, Japan is um, getting some of the more extreme weather. I will get into that as well. And of course the volcanic activity in Indonesia and the Philippines uh, and Western Africa, uh, the country of Cameroon. And we also have continued activity out of the Cleveland volcano in Alaska. And again, I, I'm going to show you a link... Uh, <clears throat> To what's erupting uh, a website volcanic discovery and it has a, a geographical map uh, listing all the active and erupting volcanoes so you can get a pretty clear picture of, of exactly what's going on um, definitely eye-opening and uh, something to check out let's go over to the nuclear stuff um, since there's not really a lot new going on climate change wise uh, e, e News, Fukushima Diani was near meltdown amidst the head of the plant. At the moment, I can only say we will maintain a state of cold shutdown, and we know better than that. Explosions at reactor number one reportedly caused by damage from earthquake and not the tsunami. Newly published photos of birds' abnorm abnormalities in areas contaminated with radiation via USC study. They have a uh, some pretty horrific photos with the um, growths on the birds and that kind of thing. Fairwinds, uh, this is Arnie Gunderson, put out a video. Nuclear expert believes top lifted off to reactor number one containment before the explosion. Now he's talking about uh, the bolts that hold the top of the containment 
uh, could only hold 100 psi or 100 pounds per square inch of pressure. Uh, I work boilers in the Navy, uh, high pressure boilers, 1200 psi. It, it's beyond my understanding why they wouldn't design these reactors to withstand more pressure than 100 pounds per square inch. It's insane. The NRC approves new U.S. reactors. I know we're going to be paying for one here in Iowa. NRC Chairman says no. I cannot support issuing this license as if Fukushima had never happened. He had been a, a supporter of the project. Uh, NHK, no active fuel was inside reactor number four when Quake hit. Uh, they were refueling the damn thing. And uh, <clears throat> the lid was wide open and full of fuel, whether it was active or not. TEPCO to suspend all nuclear operations. They should spend all nuclear operations across the planet. Nuclear power is a crime against humanity, and I will say it again and again and again. A fear that partial meltdown might have occurred in spent fuel pool number four last month. And expert American nuclear industry is on the brink of collapse. Another applause there. Let's just kill them all. Japan TV professor detects 104 microsieverts per hour near where kids walk to school. Absurd reality where children are right next to high level contamination and uh, the, the Japanese government officials are, are dishing out the radiation and shipping this debris all over Japan to be burned in open incinerators and they are dibbing out the pain equally throughout the, the nation that is Japan. Official makes first inspection of Fukushima Daiichi still using temporary cooling. Cores didn't seriously overheat. Most important task is keeping reactors in cold shutdown. They don't have these things in cold shutdown. Government testing for radioactive material on Hawaii beaches. It's something that has been quietly underway for the past year here. NOAA and EPA state all preparing together for tsunami debris to hit the island, radioactive or not. Here it comes, Hawaii. Uh, freelance journalist in Japan, Fukushima government dumping tons of radioactive mud from decontamination into river at night. And of course, Japan is a huge radioactive tea bag in the Pacific Ocean. And uh, the insanity continues. I'm going to take you over to uh, Fukushima Diary. Uh, he's got a story coming out. Cesium pollen started attacking Tokyo. Following up this article, cesium pollen will increase the radiation level up to at least April level. Cesium pollen has finally started attacking Tokyo. Uh, because this winter is colder than unusual, it's about one week later than average. The peak is, is estimated to be in early March. And as the pollen from these radioactive trees and plant hit the air, um, further dangers ensue. And the water level is lower than the heating gauge. TEPCO is still struggling to cool down reactor number two, but actual workers are concerned it may be damaged the water purifying system. Uh, the temperature went down to 66 degrees Celsius at 11 a, uh, at 11 a.m. on the 8th, but it increased again. TEPCO increased the water injects from 13.2 uh, per hour to 13.6 and um, yeah the temperature still up to 66.7 degrees Celsius so it's still rising. Reactor number five is being heated as well. Uh, this is one we really don't want to don't hear about a lot. Reactor two is being heated but reactor five is steadily being heated as well. From the plant perimeter data of TEPCO, the temperature of Reactor 5 has gone up by 6.6 .6 degrees Celsius since the 1st of February. And uh, Japan government is putting penalty on farmers who quit farming for the risk of radiation. Um, farmers who quit growing vegetables not to spread the radiation is pressed by the government and uh, Yachi Fukushima Agricultural Committee belonging to date city government defined the farms as abandoned uh, where the owners stopped farming not to grow radioactive crops so they are pressuring these farmers to continue farming and these products are in the markets and these people are eating this radioactive food and they are not 
testing for internal radiation. Dosage, the insanity, the insanity, the insanity. That is about all I have for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Enjoy while you can, everybody. We don't have a lot of time. Thanks for your support.